Hello, I'm Trevor Lynn, and this is my better half. Lisa Lynn, and we are the Flippers. We just started buying houses, fixing them up, and selling them. For profit. Well, we're not going to do it for free, right? No. <laughs> we are going to show you the ins and the outs of the flipping business. You can and will make a lot of mistakes in this business. But we're going to show you how to do it the right way. When we started this venture two months ago, we made a lot of mistakes. But now that we're on a roll, we are going to show you how you can get it done. We're here at one of our properties working on the upgrades. I mainly oversee the construction crew. My daytime job is selling cars. But not for long though, not the way this business is shaping up. I have a day job too. I'm a barista assistant manager at Lido's Coffee House in Scottsdale. I could have made manager by now, but with all the demands of my time here, I just couldn't commit to them. Because here, I am the interior designer, which means that I get to choose everything that goes into these houses. It's awesome. We're here working on the upgrades. Two by six construction, full sheeting. Adds value. All right, get back to work, no time to chat. Oh, Miguel, Miguel. Hello, I'm Michael. I'm the foreman on these projects. And the name is Michael, not Miguel. At first I thought it was kind of funny, but now it's just irritating. As is the very broken Spanglish they throw out when they're feeling extra confident. They're very new to the house flipping thing, so I have to hold their hands a lot. And they come down to the sites often, unfortunately. My guys actually pretend they don't speak English. They don't have to deal with it. They can be a lot. And when is this going to air anyway? In a few months? That's all right. I don't see us being here that long. That is to say, at least I don't want to. Who's paying for you guys to film anyway? Oh, there you are, Miguel. Lisa wants to change the paint color in the master bedroom to a light, blanched almond. OK? So let's get on that, all right? Chop, chop. Grita for a day. She changes colors a lot. I think everything looks like light tan to her. She's colorblind, you know? No, I'm serious. She's colorblind. We're never going to finish this house. And to be totally honest with you, I don't even think they like each other. Okay, so we're going to extend the wall 16 inches, right? No, those marks mean feet, remember? Mm -hmm. And these two little lines mean inches, so 16 feet. Ah, oh, I see. So over there, right? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Good work. Over there. Oh, so there you are. Miguel and I are discussing the add-on. We're going to add 12 feet to the master bedroom. 16 feet. So while I'm here, Lisa's at the store ordering tile for the bathrooms and the kitchen. She's got a great eye for that sort of thing. Definitely liking this one. I think it'll go really well with the striped blue. You mean the green one? Bluish green. Uh, that is a very interesting combination. Most designers don't mix stripes with patterns like that. I definitely have an eye for the unusual. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one. Be perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I am really liking this combination. Definitely getting closer. Where is the first one that I said that I didn't want? I think I want to see that one again. Uh. No, Lisa, it's not your birthday. What else could it be? So sorry. We will have the keys anytime now. Okay, because I do have another house to look at at 1 p.m. Oh, plenty of time. We'll have it open any minute. Maybe it's 5290. That was our first house. Remember 5290 Maple Road? Yeah. Try it, honey. Nope. What else? Mm, I don't know, honey. You picked it. Well, get Miguel on the phone. He must know the numbers. No, honey, you changed it after construction, remember? Because you didn't want anyone to have the combination. 
What? Well, never mind. There's only so many combinations I would use. Did you try 1225? You love Christmas. That was the first one I tried, but what year did you graduate? Oh, I got it. Damn. Maybe I can come back another day when you remember the combination. No, no, no. He will have it any, it'll just be a second. He will get it. Open up. Open up! Damn! Well, maybe I can find an open window. He didn't like write the combination down or anything? No. You don't have a spare key somewhere? You know, I thought I had one in the car, but I spent like 20 minutes tearing that car apart before you got here. <laughs> All right, well, I gotta get going. Ow! Oh, you okay, honey? I banged my head on the house. Well, did you find an open window yet? No, but I found a rock. Got inside. Hang on. See, I told you it'd just be a minute. Come on. <laughs> Yes, I know we originally said the 5th, but now that we have to repaint again, it's looking more like the 24th or 28th. Well, I know you don't like staying in a hotel. Uh-huh, yeah. Yes, I know the budget has gone up quite a bit. We were talking to the owner of another property that we're remodeling, been really tough clients. Not really knowing what they want, tough to approve the budgets, the usual. Uh I remember saying that, but it did rain those few days, so it pushed us back a bit. I don't think I would have said that. Oh, you recorded it on your phone? Well, then I guess I might have said it then? Oh, honey, re remember to ask them about the doorknobs? And we do need a decision about the doorknobs. Well, sometimes the, the cheapest ones aren't always the smartest choice. You want something with quality that lasts. Uh-huh. Okay. We'll go with the cheaper option. Honey, don't use cheap. Use more economical. I understand. But don't you think you're being a little bit unreasonable? Uh-huh. But mom, at least think about it. I know dad will love the office painted purple. Lisa says it'll look great. I guess they're right when they say, don't work for family. My parents are really busting my balls. Honey, I told you it might be a really hard job to do. Well, they're just really watching their pennies. Honey, they're loaded. I know, but they're always on the prowl for a deal. You are already giving them wholesale pricing. Well, We're not going to make a cent on this project. Well, it'll help build the portfolio. Yeah. Well, sometimes when you start a business, you want to eat the profits to get the word out. Mm. Well, we've already gotten several calls. My parents are really talking us up. Having several projects going on like we have now, sometimes it's hard to remember the big picture. This helps build the business. Someday we'll look back on this and we'll laugh about it. <laughs> no, I definitely think we should work on the addition first. Honey, if we don't work out the master bathroom, I can't get the tiles in time. Honey, remember, I'm in charge of the construction crew. I get to say what we work on first. Yes, as long as it doesn't hamper my work. I'm pretty sure I said we get to the bathroom next week. No, honey, last week you said that we would get to the bathroom this week. No, I'm pretty sure I said the following week. No, honey, remember we were at the bar in Old Town and you said the bathroom would be next. At uh, the bar? I can't remember that. Uh. This has been going on for two hours now. They told us to stand by. We're literally paying 15 guys to stand around and do nothing. Yeah, but we don't mind. I told him we had enough guys to work on both their projects, but he shushed me, so I gave up. Most of us are watching TikTok videos. I like the construction how-tos. Proof for better or worse that anyone can teach themselves to do anything. Ugh, honey, you have to remember. I never remember at the bar. Oh, dude. No, I definitely didn't say that. You cannot use the excuse of being drunk again. This is going to be a long day. I think I'm gonna go grab a coffee. You guys want something? So we've been waiting here a while now with no end in sight. And it's only Monday. No, I don't love any of them. I, I need something that says neo-French modern with a touch of Art Deco and a hint of Native American. What do you mean that doesn't exist? Well, do you have any fabric with buffaloes on it?
Hi, I'm Tava Dolinsky. I'm like the receptionist slash assistant slash office manager slash peon, I guess. I wear a lot of hats. Oh, there you are. I need you to run some errands for me. I need you to go to the store on 80th and pick up all the new samples. They're waiting. And then I need you to go to the art gallery on Temple and get me anything that has buffaloes on it and Indian art. I mean Native American. And then I want you to go to the dollar store and get me a 12 pack of Diet Coke. And then I need you to grab my dry cleaning. It's at the place next to the other place by the coffee bean, okay? Okay, got it. All right, I am late for my shift. The coffee isn't gonna make itself. <laughs> Lisa! 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 She already left. I always take notes because they tend to give me a lot to do. And sometimes I have to show them the list because they had forgotten why I was out and about. I have updated my resume on Yes Indeed You Do. They found me on Craigslist. So we are excited as we move forward on the project. You may have seen me piloting the drone earlier. It was so much fun. But remember the rules that only us on a film crew will be flying in the future, right? Listen, Sam will be just fine. It was just a small scratch on his forehead. But remember our talk that we are the only ones trained and licensed to fly the drone? I know all that. I, I just want to see how fast I can get that baby to go. I really got it up there in speed, didn't I? Well, your little speed test didn't end well, did it? How did I know I turned off the obstacle avoidance switch? It really did hit the roof kind of hard. Luckily, we had the extra rotors to replace the broken ones. To be honest, we were surprised it can still fly. See? No harm, no foul. Pull up. Pull up. As we discussed over the phone, each tile is $32. That's the price. But that's the price for someone off the street, right? We get some sort of wholesale deal. Sir, that is the wholesale deal. Retail is $36. But since we're buying in bulk. Sir, your order isn't really considered bulk. If you were to order, let's say, over 100 or even 1,000, then yes we can consider giving you a little more off. But as it stands, your order is for 50. Okay, so 20% off the whole order? No. 10%? Still no. Hmm. So 5% and you deliver to us for free. Uh, I am so sorry, sir. But we also don't deliver. What happened to the customer is always right? I don't think that statement applies here. We just, we have so many projects coming our way and we just, we really want you to be our main supplier. Uh, and we very much like your business and look forward to working with you. So 5% then? No. Hello. You must be Sarah. You must be Trevor. Yes. Nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> well, as you can see, the, the house is ready. 4,000 square feet, five bedrooms. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you please take off your shoes? We just need to keep the floors clean. Well, as you can see, nice ceilings. Plenty of open space. Do you have children? 
Yeah, three. And we need a bigger place than we have now. Well, if you go down that hallway, you see three of the bedrooms. Oh, this is a nice room. I think the view is stunning. Ow! I'm sorry, I didn't see your feet there. Don't you want to see the rest of the house? Um, I actually have to leave now, but maybe I can come back with my husband. Oh, of course, yeah. Do you need help with your shoes? No. It was a crazy week. Trevor is actually at one of the remodels now. We had a little issue this morning. Trevor decided to start work a little bit earlier than the crew. He took out a support beam and a wall that we know now was reinforcing the entire second floor. So we had a little bit of trouble, long story short. Part of the second floor collapsed into the first floor. It's a mess. Miguel tells me that it set us back a little bit. <laughs> 25,000 to be exact. Live and learn. <laughs> Fifth lips the charm, I guess.